What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? I am Rachel Photon. Welcome, welcome back. I'm so happy to be here with you all today. In this oracle reading, you all, we're going to see what the universe wants you to know. With that being said, let's do it. Let's see. What does the universe want you to know? All right, you all. Y'all. <laughs> All right, the universe is saying to keep laughing at the asses, okay? <laughs> if somebody is acting real funny or something that they're doing is real funny to you, for some of y'all, you could just be having fun. You could just be um, making light of a situation, really just happy, um, getting along with others, um, there's a situation just making you really happy from what I see here or that you're laughing at something that it looks like someone meant <laughs> to make you um, feel way different than than what you're feeling about it. OK, you're realizing that something that you have invested in or that you have taken a lot of time, um, effort and energy to put towards that it was actually worth the time or the money that was invested into a situation. Someone may feel like you are worth the time, the money, or the effort um, needed to invest into something or to make a situation um, better, okay? Someone may wanna have fun with you. They may wanna get together with you. They love your energies. They love your vibe. They really enjoy you from what I see here, okay? Yeah, it looks like you've been making sure that you're putting yourself first and your well-being first. You have been prioritizing your well-being, making sure that you're not sacrificing yourself or your goals or your divine missions of some sort, all right? Some of you all, one of the reasons why you're laughing or you're if something is making you happy because you could realize that somebody may have... Um, uh, got the wrong idea about you or misjudged you and they could or they may have done something wrong to you and you could be laughing because they're actually receiving um the justice from what they did to you okay you're receiving the justice all right um you've been focusing on yourself putting yourself first enhancing your life uh doing the things that you know will be worth the time the effort or the money um that you may have to put towards it it looks like someone um, is recognizing that you're actually a lot more intelligent and smarter than someone may have thought. You could be a very attractive person and they may have thought that you're only attractive and not actually intelligent as well. They could have thought that you aren't as smart or you weren't as smart as you actually are and that could be what you're laughing at. Someone may have insulted your intelligence or attempted to but it, it didn't go well for them from what I see here, okay? Or they could have tried to waste your time, your effort, your energies um, on purpose for some of y'all. And it didn't go very well for them, okay? They realized that um, that was not what they should have done, okay? You've been applying a lot of the information and the knowledge that you have learned recently, okay? And it has been very successful for you from what I see here, all right? Um... Some of you all could have took some time to really, to hear somebody out, to listen to what they had to say or to um, allow them, them to crit critique you, critique you about something or um, share something with you. Someone is being honest with you. They are telling you the truth. They are genuine. They are real. Okay, and you may be realizing that this person is worth the money, the time, or the efforts that you invested in them or into a situation. This could be what's making you very happy as well, that you realize that something is actually worth what you invested into it. Someone may be realizing that about you. They may have took a chance on you and they're realizing that you were the right choice or that Maybe something that you may have told them to do or some kind of wisdom that you could have given them was the right way to go about something. Um, maybe you told them some sort of truth. You were being honest with them. And even though they may not have liked that truth, they still chose to either listen to it or take some sort of wisdom or advice you could have given them. 
and this has helped them tremendously it is helping them to become a better person um it may have something to do with them prioritizing their own well-being above others um you could have been dealing with somebody who um puts a lot of other people before themselves and may not hang around the right types of people or may not have decent individuals around them and you could have put them up on game and showed them some or told them something and they're realizing that um it was actually well worth listening to you about something or go about something the way that you may have suggested them to okay um but regardless i see here that um a lot of people see that you are the truth that you are genuine you're real um you're not fake you're not phony um you actually are intelligent or um the inside of you is as beautiful as the outside of you or as handsome as the outside of you right um you're very knowledgeable about something you're very smart okay and somebody is realizing that they could have underestimated your intelligence or how how much you know about something and you could be laughing about it okay you could be laughing about something that someone could have tried to do it's not working they could have tried to do something to you and it's just like comical okay someone may feel like you're unusual they're not used to people like you or they're not used to being around people like you who are as smart as they are attractive or who are as um who actually do what they say they're gonna do or who own up to their roles in situations or who are actually worth the time effort or energy to invest in maybe they've taken chances on people like you before and may not had good experiences but with you you actually gave them an awesome experience or they really had a great time with you or they really valued you in some way or another okay and they respect you because you're you're real you're true you're genuine you're not just fake you're not faking okay about something or you're not lying about something yeah it looks like you're you're really um you could be doing things different than what you're used to okay you could be trying something new experimenting with things um trying to make sure that you're in good vibes you're you're in good spirits not allowing people to get you down not allowing people to ruin your day um trying to look at the better sides of the situations that you involve yourself in making sure that you're involved with people who respect and honor you for who you really are who appreciate you being genuine being real with them okay some of you all could be creating something or you could be working on something um you may have been spending more time doing that recently and you may realize that it was actually worth the time or the energy or the effort that you did to invest in it or to try this new thing out or to create something new and I, I'm sensing very strongly too, a lot of you all are recognizing how powerful your thoughts are, how powerful your habits are and your actions, your inner universe, your inner world, the things that you tell yourself, the ways that you view yourself and you view others in reality. Um, maybe some of you all, you were raised or somehow in the past started to believe that it was narcissistic or messed up or wrong to prioritize your own well-being uh, and to pour more into yourself and to uplift yourself and motivate yourself and inspire yourself okay maybe because you were around people who don't do that or maybe you were so for whatever reason through some sort of conditioning or teachings or something you may have felt like in the past that it's narcissistic or egotistical to prioritize yourself to care for yourself to to value yourself highly to um try to do the best that you can for yourself to want more to do more to be better to want better right but you're realizing that that it, it it's not only valuable it's necessary for you to be able to get ahead in life 
for you to be a better version of yourself, right? And you're staying away from the things or at least trying to stay away from the things that don't um, get you where you want to be in life, that don't help improve you or improve your life. Um, you may be no longer involving yourself with certain individuals who may get you down or who may make you feel like you're not worthy, you're less than, or who may um, not want more in life or who may see what you do as something wrong, even though it's right. Okay, people who may like to be willfully ignorant, who don't like to change their thoughts, their behaviors, their beliefs, their expect their perspectives in life and in situations. So yeah, someone feels like you're they're, they're, they're trying to get used to you because you're different than other people. You're very different or being around you is so different. And they love being around you. They love your energy. They love the time that they spend with you. They love your humor. Um, you're, you could be very funny to them. Some of you all are trying to laugh at life more instead of letting it make you depressed or sad or miserable. Yeah, from what I see here also, you could be coming to terms with some something that happened in your past or some sort of past experiences. You could realize that it's not the way to go about a situation or not the best way to um, really move how you want to move or act how you want to act. Or you're just realizing that maybe some way that you used to be or some sort of way that you used to act or some sort of environment you used to be around is just not what's best for you. It's not helpful for you and you're making moves to get away from that or to stay away from that. Some of you all, you could have been dealing with depression in the past because of experiences and things that could have happened. And instead of ruminating over what didn't go right or what went wrong, you have come to terms with it and found your power within those situations to see what you could have done differently, what you could have changed um where you may have went wrong and accepting it and deciding to do different to change things to be better to do better you may be recognizing and realizing that um no one's gonna make you feel happy you have to make yourself feel happy no one's gonna help you get over the things that you um had happened to you or that you went through except for you you know and it's, so it's like you're realizing how much of a role your own self plays in your life and how things go for you and you're prioritizing yourself your thoughts your opinions your well-being over the next person's and for a while there it could have felt weird or wrong or odd because you're not used to doing that and now you've maybe be started to get comfortable with it or you've become better at it right at, at making sure that um you're not you're not entertaining the wrong thoughts you're not allowing self-doubt to creep in. And if it does, you're not allowing it to stay for very long. You're applying the things that you learn. You're practicing what you preach, so to say, or you're practicing the, the wisdom that you gained. Instead of just gaining the wisdom, you're actually utilizing it. And someone may see this in you. There's something you could have been trying to figure out why something happened or how it happened or why you are the way you are or maybe you feel like a like an alien compared to other people. You just feel odd or different or you may deal with people who treat you like you're weird and it's like you're you've finally gotten comfortable with it. You're okay with being different. You're okay with thinking different. You're okay with seeing things different. For some of you all, what this is, is because you may be more knowledgeable than the next person. You may research more than other people. You may know a lot more than other people. Um, you may see things other people can't see um, and so on and so forth. And you've become comfortable with that. Maybe in the past you felt weird or odd and you just kept wondering like, why did um, God or the divine make you like that or why do you have to be the one that sees these things or experiences these things? And you may have realized that it's actually a gift that you didn't see before, okay? 
Wow. Some of you all could be laughing and happy because something you thought wouldn't work out or you could have been not really so sure about it. You actually realize that it's way better than what, than what you may have expected it to be. Okay, or somebody is seeing you, they see that you're way better at something than they thought. Or um, like they were hoping that things would work out with you, that things would go well for you and things are going way better than they expected. Or that you're actually holding up to your end of a deal or a bargain or you're holding your own at something or it, it, it's, it's something like that y'all it's like something's very happy very exciting you're laughing okay again some of y'all could be laughing at the haters okay because maybe something they thought wasn't gonna go right is actually working really well for you okay life has been teaching you a lot recently you've been learning a lot from life and one of y'all it's learning how to laugh Learning how to laugh at the things that some people may not find funny, okay? And it just is what it is. If it makes you feel better, if it helps you keep moving, if it helps you keep overcoming, you know, it is what it is, okay? Some of you all, what I see that you have changed and that's actually improving in your life is you don't really seek validation from others or you've been actively trying not to do that. You give yourself the validation that you were seeking from others, that you were wanting from others, okay? Some of you all, that is what has changed in the past. And that could be one of the things that you were coming to terms with. That maybe in the past, you cared a lot about what people thought about you, what they felt about you, um, or things that have happened or occurred. And you no longer care as much about those things as you used to, or you're no longer trying to gain the support or the love or whatever from others who you used to. And this is one of the things that has helped you become better or do better, or, you know, you started to um, overcome some sort of negative things that were going on. And this is what has helped you for some of y'all overcome some sort of depression of some sort, because maybe that's what was causing it for some of y'all is that you would look for some sort of validation from others. You would look to try to see if they respect you, if they honor you, if they like what you're doing, if they love you. And when you wouldn't see, you know, that they loved you or that they valued you or that they respected you or that they cared about you, it may have made you feel down. And sometimes it would make you want to give up or stop doing things because you may have felt like, what's the point if other people don't like it, but you've realized that it don't even fucking matter. It's what you want. It's what you like. So you're doing things that make you happy now. You're doing things that make you laugh, that make you feel excited, that make you, you know, um, feel like a better person. And you're no longer like, caring too much and overly stressing yourself about what people think about you or why they act a certain way with you or why they don't see you as valuable or worthy. It don't even fucking matter. As long as you like yourself, as long as you love yourself, at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. As long as the divine loves you and values you and cares for you, what the fuck does it matter if the next person does, right? Now, obviously, there's going to be times where you're going to have to care if somebody values you or not, especially, let's say, if you have a job Obviously, you want your boss to see you as valuable and worthy, you know, so you don't get fired. Obviously, you want your children to see you as valuable and worthy and a good parent and a good person to be around if you really care about your children, right? That's not what I'm talking about in this situation. I'm talking about, you know, let's say you wanted to start a business or you were creating something, some sort of product or some sort of something. And instead of you being happy with it, you put a lot of the the whether or not you're happy on if other people like it or if other people value it right if you know it works if you know it's awesome if you know it's great why does it really matter if other people want it all right go find the people who do if they don't care they don't care if they don't like it they don't like it they're not your they're not for you right and and and, and th this goes for like for some of y'all this is like maybe something that you wear Maybe it's some way that you talk. Maybe it's some type of way that you think. Maybe you care a lot about how other people felt about it. And that care was not allowing you to be your best self. It was not doing good for you. It wasn't helping you. And you realize how much of a role caring too much or trying to seek validation from others 
wear that energy you up in life. How that may have caused more problems and issues for, for yourself than you needed. When you just go about things the way you want to, when you laugh, when you like to be happy, when you just stay around people who has similar goals, who can see things from similar perspectives as you, who want similar things as you, right? Who, who has similar humor or perspectives as you, things go better for you. Now, that's not to say to surround yourself in an echo chamber. That's not what I'm saying. Because if you have people who really care for you, who really value you, sometimes they may tell you, hey man, say, that's not the right way to go about this. Or why are you doing this to yourself? Or maybe you should change this and switch up. And they're saying it to you legitimately from a real genuine and true perspective because they care for you, because they love you, because they want to see you do your best, right? And so in those situations, yeah, you know, you might want to listen to what they have to say or value what they're trying to tell you or show you, right? You don't always want just yes men around you because the best the people who become the most successful in this world, they didn't get there by constantly having yes men around them. Best believe that, okay? But you don't have to go about things by trying to seek validation from people. Valid, va validate yourself. And you will see a whole world of change. And for some of y'all, you have. Okay? You're starting to see how amazing life can be. Mm-hmm. And some of y'all, because you have committed to making yourself better, to choosing yourself, to prioritizing your well-being over the next person's, right? Realizing that it's not your job to help everybody, to, to, to care about everybody, to save everybody, whatever, right? And you're being more definite in what you want and you're refusing to give up yourself what you want for your life to, to help everybody else and do for everybody else who ain't gonna ever do that for you. When you got definite in your purpose, the universe started to move for you. It started to work for you. When you started to make sure that you're only thinking the thoughts that benefit you, that help you, that truly make you better, right? You're not giving into self-doubt, into all kind of negative stuff. The universe helps you make things happen for yourself, right? And for some of y'all, you could be laughing because you're realizing that there could have been people who you thought were your friend or who you thought were really for you. Maybe you ha ha and kiki with them and laugh with them. And they actually were laughing at you and not with you type of thing. And you could be seeing this now. You could be realizing this now that some people actually liked you better when your life wasn't going as well. Or they may have liked when things... It's basically someone could have joked on you, right? And they were actually disrespecting you. They were legitimately disrespecting you, but they tried to cloak it as as if they were just joking or they they you know they they didn't really mean it kind of thing. And for some of y'all, you could have used to allow people to do that to you, right? You could have just kind of you know brush it off or whatever because you wanted to still have these friends or have these family members or how these people like you, care for you or whatever. And you stopped allowing people to disrespect you. You stopped allowing people to treat you some type of way, to make you always put yourself on the back burner, to make you always prioritize them over you. You realize that not everybody that laughs with you or, 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 or is having fun with you is meant to be with you or is actually really for you. Okay, if that makes sense, I'm trying to explain this the best way that I can in this situation. I just really truly see a major change in your life for the better. And you know what? Some people may start to feed, talk about some, you change, you ain't the same. Uh, they don't know you no more and you, you acting different, you acting funny and this and that. It's because you're no longer that messed up person that you used to be. Or you're no longer operating in those self-sabotaging ways that you used to operate in. And they're used to you being that way. They're comfortable when you were like that. Some of y'all is because they like to play the savior in your life. That's why they like to see you depressed. Some of y'all is because they feel better about themselves when you ain't doing right. When things ain't going well for you. They feel like they ain't the only one. 
And you could have been trying to seek validation from people like that who you never should have been seeking that validation from. And once you switched up and changed and you started to seek validation from yourself, you started to be comfortable with either being around yourself, being in your own vibe, your own energies, things of that sort. That's one of the best decisions you ever made. And somebody is watching you and seeing this happen. And they're realizing that you're not just handsome. You're not just beautiful. You're actually very intelligent too. Some of y'all, you were around people who you couldn't share this intelligence with. Who you felt like you had to dumb yourself down when you were around them. Who you felt like you couldn't be your true self around them. Who you may have found yourself down talking yourself, saying bad things about yourself just to laugh and joke around with people so that they don't feel bad about the stuff that they're going through. And you may have realized that that actually was make, manifesting bad situations in your life. And you're no longer doing that. You're no longer engaging in no, some kind of self-sabotaging behaviors just to feel validated, just to feel part of the group, just to feel accepted, right? Some of y'all, you were hiding how intelligent you are, how good you are at something, how powerful you are, how worthy you are. And life has taught you not to do that. It said, well, damn, if you're going to hide it, what's the point of it giving it to you? If you're going to hide the divine gifts the divine gave to you, what is the point of giving it to you? If you're going to hide your, your, your attractiveness, this power that you have, what's the point of you having it? If you're going to constantly be seeking validation from others instead of a, from the divine and from yourself, what's the point? It might as well give you over to them. And that's what was happening in the past, but you changed that. You switched up. Uh-huh. Again, you realize to not allow other people's priorities to trump yours. You were trying to go above and beyond for somebody to show them or prove to them that you are worthy or that they should choose you or that you're the right one or that you really care for them or that you really love them, et cetera, et cetera. And you realize that that's not your fucking job. Okay, and it's not your job to lose yourself in the process of trying to help somebody else find themselves. That's not your job. And your ancestors were getting real rowdy with you for a little bit there from what I see because they were getting mad because they helped you to get into this good situation or to get to where you needed to be. And they, they, they ain't about to let somebody come tear that down who ain't nothing, who ain't, who ain't worthy to be around you, who ain't worthy to be involved with you, who don't prioritize you the ways that you were prioritizing them. You learn to respect your ancestors and what they do for you. Some of y'all, you weren't able to express how you truly feel, how you truly think in certain situations because you were afraid of losing certain people. You were afraid of not getting love from certain people. You were afraid of not having the friends, the family, the co-workers, the this and that. And you're realizing that that was not the way to go. Don't allow people to make you cage yourself. Your ancestors helped free you from something real wild. And they they be they they refuse to let you retrap yourself again. So there's something that I'm telling y'all, there's something that's making you very happy. And it's probably the, the what I'm sensing very strongly is that you took a chance to choose yourself. You chose yourself. You chose to prioritize your well-being. You chose to invest in yourself or in a business or your own creative gifts or talents or something like that, y'all. You chose to do better. You chose to get away from those who drag you down, who make you feel less than who don't allow you to act out of your best self. And you're starting to see the fruits of that or you're starting to see the fruits of your labor or you're starting to see the results of what you have been doing, especially when it comes to prioritizing your own well-being. And it's making you very happy. Or it will make you very happy. Your ancestors are very happy. They want to tell you that they are so very proud.
proud of you because they know how difficult it was for you to get to this point or for you to overcome whatever this was. Somebody could have tried to get you to talk yourself out of a good thing. That's wild, y'all. Possibly because they knew that you would become more successful in that situation or you would no longer want to be involved with them or deal with them. You could be glad that you didn't talk yourself out of a good thing. That you realize that it's not narcissistic. It's not evil to care about yourself more than the next person that it's not wrong for you to prioritize your own well-being that it's not wrong for you to want to help yourself be better do better get ahead in life some of you all somebody is really happy that you are the person that they thought that you were okay that you're actually living up to something that they thought or that they expected they're happy that things are going well between you two they're happy that they chose you or that they realized you were the right one for something or that they, whatever time, effort, and energies that they invested into you, they're really happy that they did, that it actually worked out well or that it actually um, was as good as they thought it would be or that you're as good as they thought you would be, that you didn't let them down. They feel like that they can rely on you, that you're reliable, you're trustworthy, okay? And they're really happy about that because, like I said, they could have dealt with other people maybe similar to you and they may have had bad experiences and they're happy that this experience went well with you, okay? They enjoy listening to what you have to say or they enjoy you, they love you, they love hearing your thoughts, your opinions, your perspectives on things, they love being around you, okay? This is a spiritual journey that you have been on for some of you all. You chose to go on this spiritual journey, this divine mission of some sort. And you're happy because you trusted the divine or you trusted your ancestors, your angels. And it actually turned out to be one of the best decisions that you could have ever made for yourself. You may be tapping in or in tune with the cosmic consciousness. Okay. You're on a whole new level. You could be gaining access to some sort of extra dimensional realms of existence that are helping you to see reality from higher levels of conscious awareness. You may be the type of person who likes to inspire people, who likes to help people be their best selves. You don't like to see people around you struggling in messed up situations, doing bad when you're doing good kind of thing. You could have tried to take somebody on this journey with you and you could have realized that they're not meant to go with you or they're not meant to be on your side or it's now time for you to go on your own path and them to go their own way. Because no matter what you tell them, they don't want to change. They like, again, they like to stay willfully ignorant. They don't like to be better, do better, or, or something like that, y'all. They're, they're not ready to see things from the perspective that you're seeing them from. Or they're not ready to leave whatever not-so-good behaviors, thoughts, etc. that they had. That they have, they're not willing to leave them behind yet. And you have. And you may have could have been feeling some type of way because you don't want them to feel like you gave up on them. Or like you're a traitor or like you're not actually real and genuine. You're not a true friend like you said you are. Or like they thought you were. Or you're not really... For, like you're nervous about that. And that could have been one of the things that was going on in the past. You wanted to change. You wanted to do better. But you were nervous that the people who were used to you being this other way. That they would no longer want to be involved with you or around you. And it made you feel some type of way. Because you may have actually cared about these people. Or cared about what they thought about you. And you're realizing at some point. It's either you or them. It's either going to be you or them. It's either going to be your well-being. Your success. You becoming better. You freeing yourself from not so good situations. You gaining the respect of your ancestors and of the divine and the angels. 
you creating more prosperity and success for yourself or it's going to be whatever the fuck you always trying to please them always trying to make them see you as a real one always trying to make them think that you're 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 really for them and that you you care for them and trying to see the best in you and trying to get them to validate you and not, no it's either that or you which one are you going to choose you chose yourself most of y'all you're going to and you're going to realize that's the best decision you ever made some of y'all you used to come up with if you're a creative okay let's say you're an artist for some of y'all you may have, would show your art to people and they would laugh at it or you wouldn't get the response that you were hoping for for from those people so you may would stop doing the art or you may would stop doing something a certain way and what you needed to realize and i think you figured it out is that you just weren't going with the people who were meant for you. They're not meant for you anymore. Maybe on a certain path or a certain journey or time period in your life, they were for you or they were meant to be on that path with you. But you're moving to the next level. And so some of y'all, you started to be honest about your true feelings or how you really feel about these things. And some of these people may have decided that they felt like you were just dis disrespecting them because you were just being honest and expressing your true feelings to them. That maybe you don't like that they don't value you or what you got going on or that you always feel like you're putting yourself last and putting them first. Or you feel like they don't like you when you're doing better, when you're trying to make yourself better, when you're changing their perspectives, when you're looking at life from different ways and, and you're doing these different things and you're prioritizing your, your divine path, your divine missions instead of whatever it was you were prioritizing while you were with them. You're choosing to laugh, to be happy instead of always constantly talk about how negative, how horrible life is. Oh, poor this. Oh, da, da, da. You, you, you're, you're, you know what power you have. You're willing to use it now. And because of that, some may not like it, y'all. And you have to make the choice to either move on without them and let them stay where they at or keep holding your own self back. And I'm telling y'all, if you keep holding your own self back, your ancestors not going to be too happy with you. Your angels ain't going to be too happy about it. Okay? So some of you all, you're focused on setting an example for those who are following, for those who are coming after you. You may have realized that. You don't want to be like those who came before you. Or you want to, some of y'all, you're breaking generational curses. That's what it is. And you're choosing to be an example for those who are like you. And you know that if you continue to be the other ways that you were, you're not setting a good example. How can you tell somebody to love themselves, to value their intelligence, their gifts, their abilities when you ain't doing it? You can't. So you've been achieving some sort of higher levels or your spiritual awareness or you've been integrating some sort of very powerful spiritual acts of some sort or spiritual routines rituals something y'all and it's very powerful for you okay i see the relationship between yourself and your environment improving the more that you get from around individuals who ain't meant to be around you and the more that you prioritize your own well-being part of prioritizing your own well-being may have to do with you making your environment better right you have the power to make your life better and you're evolving beyond people's comfort zones okay choose to keep moving forward and to do better if they got a pro if they can't be comfortable with you doing great being great expressing your true self um improving your life prioritizing your well-being they ain't meant to be on the journey with you anymore. And with that being said, y'all, I love y'all. Be certain and definite about your choices and your decisions because you will see that it was the right choice, okay? And if you chose yourself, it's always going to be the right choice. I love y'all. I wish y'all the best. And I will see you soon.